right guys, so today's the day. Me and Landon's out here on our maiden voyage, I guess you would call it. We took the boat out once before, but it was just for a few minutes. Today we're uh, actually gonna fish a little bit. We're out here on Taylorsville Lake. I'd like to be on the river today, but it's just too dangerous. There's too much current, and I'm still getting used to this new boat, so we're just gonna play it safe and spend some time out here on the lake today, just getting used to the boat. Hopefully we can put the first fish in the boat today, but first thing we've got to do is catch us some bait. It's a warm February day. The water temperature's 40 degrees. The air temperature's supposed to get up to almost 60 today, so I'm going to look, look on some of these flats and hopefully we can find some shad up here warming up on these flats. Uh, couldn't find any bait that was really schooled up. It was all just kind of scattered out. I'd catch one, one or two shad every three, four throws. So uh, I've got enough to get started with. If I have to, I'll catch some more later on, but I don't want to spend too much time throwing the net because we're only going to be out here for a few hours. Hang tight. And once I get set up, I'll show y'all around the boat a little bit. don't really have time today to try to anchor up on fish and stuff because I really don't like to anchor up in a lake at all ever. Sometimes you're probably better off to do that. I like to drift in a lake, but you know, in the winter time, drifting is not always a good idea when the water temperature is as cold as it is. So we're just gonna suspend some bait, use a trolling motor to keep us kind of in one spot, go from there. All right, so for the first time, we've got baits in the water on the new boat. Uh, while we're sitting here waiting on a waiting on a bite, I want to show y'all around the boat, show y'all what I've done to it. Yeah. All right, so first off, guys, here's the rod rack that I built. Uh, if you're curious about that and you haven't seen the video I've done on it, I'll put a link to that in the description. But I got six monster rod holders across the back, one on each side. I made me a couple of new anchors. I, got, I made two of those. What I'm trying to do, guys, is get everything set up to where I don't have to swap it back and forth from boat to boat. I want everything in this boat ready to roll. Only thing I want to have to swap back and forth is tackle and rods. You know, everything else I want to have one of everything for every boat. When I picked this boat up, it had a big pontoon seat behind the console here bench seat it was comfortable but it just took up too much space in the back of the boat so i took that out and i just mounted a pedestal seat so when i'm not running the boat and i'm anchor fishing i'm gonna be doing everything back here off the rod rack i'll just pop that pedestal out of the floor there move it up front and then i'll have this whole area back here to do what i need to do i'll probably set up there and watch my rods and all this will be open space back here to handle fish do whatever i need to do so here's the new Garmin 93 SV Plus that I mentioned that I got in my last video. I've got it mounted on the console. Haven't got to spend a whole lot of time behind it yet, but uh, what I have messed with, I seem to like pretty well. Now, when I picked the boat up, I didn't have a cover to go underneath the console. That's just a battery charger. Uh, I got two batteries under there and all the wiring and stuff. There was no cover, it was missing. So that's a piece of 5 16 plexiglass that I just cut out to fit and painted white. Uh, it was also missing the windshield and I just cut another piece of, that's a piece of Lexan quarter inch thick. Uh, it's a little short down here at the bottom, but you know, it does cut the wind. That's all I'm looking for. Now up front here, uh, I took the carpet out that was on the front as you can see, we've been throwing the net. We already got it broke in. 
but anyways up front here i pulled the carpet off the deck it's an aluminum deck uh at some point i'll probably put some kind of non-skid coating on it but for now i just put some of this floor mat stuff on it uh, it's pretty soft material but i had it in my last boat for about a year and a half and it held up pretty well so i just went and got a roll of that it's like 14 dollars a row and i i put that on it for now uh, it'll be a lot easier to clean than the carpet we've already got it dirty as you can tell now i added another battery up front here just for the trolling motor i uh, got a 50 amp breaker on it and stuff and then as far as the trolling motor goes that's a motor guide xi3 that's a non-gps model uh, i just get the non-gps just to just to save a little money it's a 52 pound thrust it's a cabela's exclusive i was worried that a 12 volt 52 pound thrust would be a little small on this boat but it actually it's actually running about two and a half mile an hour so uh that's pretty good so that's pretty much it guys it's just a simple setup it may not look it may not look like much to you all but to me and landon it's kind of what we've always been wanting just something that would be a little safer out on the big rivers all right guys so let's see if we can put the first fish in the boat we've been sitting here probably what 15 minutes and we haven't had a nibble so we probably won't be here much longer and we'll pack it up and move uh, what do you think about it landon about what <laughs> So it's not looking like we're going to be able to put the first fish in the boat today, but we still had a good time out here. It's been a beautiful night. But before I close out the video, guys, I want to mention real quick that I started a Facebook group. It's called HG Catfishing, just a group for all of us cat fishermen to share our fishing trips and uh, anything you want to talk about catfishing related, as long as it pertains to rod and reel catfishing. And uh, I'm going to do my best to keep it drama free. I just want us to go over and be able to have a good time and you know some sometimes videos I don't feel like are worth putting on YouTube I'll share them there so if you'd be interested in something like that go over and check it out join the group I want to thank you guys for watching I apologize for not being able to put out a good fishing video lately but you know I've been busy with my boat and getting it set up springs right around the corner and I cannot wait to put some big fish in the new boat but you guys stay tuned for more videos Hope y'all have a wonderful week. God bless, and we'll see y'all in the next video.